Hi, my name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach and I am so pleased to have you join me today. We are going to be chatting about a topic that I got a question on over at Instagram, which was why do you think we are so hard on ourselves? So please stay tuned, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, notifications button, and of course I always love to hear from you. So please leave a comment, it's good to see what other people think. All right, so why are we so hard on ourselves? And we all are so hard on ourselves. And I think the reason behind the why goes back down to having a poor relationship with ourselves. When we are always fighting with ourselves, when we are always so hard on ourselves, so critical, so judgy of ourselves, it's because ultimately we don't feel that we are enough. Whatever it is that we feel we need to be, good enough mother, good enough wife, daughter, whatever it is, we basically just don't feel that we're good enough. And when we don't feel that we're good enough, we feel, we kind of project that, that everybody's judging us, right? And there's so much criticism. And sometimes that's true. Sometimes there is a lot of judgment and a lot of criticism. But when we have a really good relationship with ourselves, that judgment and that criticism doesn't hit quite so hard. Because when we get judgment and criticism and the more of the hook that gets into us means that on some level, we also believe that. On some level, we also agree with that. And so it's really important for us to have a good relationship with ourselves. That doesn't mean that we don't see our flaws and imperfections, right? And things that we need to work on. That just means that we see it and it's okay. It's what makes us a human being. It's all part of the human experience. We all have flaws and it's okay. Being a human being is really, really messy. And we put so much pressure on ourselves to be something that maybe we're not, right? What we're doing is we're comparing our weaknesses to other people's strengths. That was, that's what we do by nature. And what we do is we sell ourselves short, we fight with ourselves, we criticize ourselves. We are just really, really mean because we have this idea. And so what happens is that we forget ourselves. We are not authentic to who we are. We wear a mask, all right? And that is exhausting. And this mask covers our flaws and it tries to highlight our strengths. You know, we try to put our best foot forward and we try to hide the vulnerability, the weaknesses. And it is the vulnerability in each other that makes us connect. So we judge ourselves as not being enough and we feel terrible about a certain area in which we feel we should be better and we should show up better and stronger. And then somebody comes along and they make a criticism, they make a judgment, they make a joke, maybe they're passive aggressive in something, maybe our boundaries aren't very firm and somebody says something, they know your button. And then what happens is that a person will judge, a person will be critical, a person will be unkind. And then that, oh, that hook, that pain is because we agree on some level. All right, so what we need to do is we just need to be aware of this. You've got to know that your opinion is the opinion that counts. When it comes to shame, we believe that that unkindness is going to motivate us to be better somehow. The problem with shame and why shame is so dangerous is that you hide. All right, you hide from yourself. You abandon yourself. So ultimately what we do is we become our own worst enemies. And so what we need to do is we need to be curious about ourselves. Be curious and excited about who you are. You want to be fluid and open to the ever-changing, ever-evolving you. Life is about progress. It's not about perfection. To sum it all up, why are we so hard on ourselves? We're hard on ourselves because we're not authentically us. We're hard on ourselves because we judge us and we criticize us and we feel that this is going to motivate us to be better versions of ourselves. That this is going to motivate us to be who we feel we need to be. We feel that it's going to incentivize us if we're mean-spirited and ugly about us. The truth is, it's the opposite that works. So the more loving you are with you, the more compassionate you are with you, the more curious, get excited about who you are. The more curious you are, the better empowered 
you become. I hope that helps. I hope that that helps and shines some light on why it is we so hard on ourselves. Nobody is perfect. We're all human beings having a human experience, trying to make the best from day to day with what we have. And it all starts with you building a relationship and loving you. So, thank you for joining me today. Um, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the notifications button, and of course, I love hearing from you. Keep being you, keep shining your lights, and don't forget to keep every day being the best version of you.